Hello and welcome to another episode of Fireside Cinema. This week I sat down with director Philippe Adigier to talk about his first feature film, Wasp. Just want to say thank you to everyone who's watched our videos so far. We really appreciate your feedback. Here's a clip from Wasp. Hope you enjoy it. Hello everyone, and Philippe, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Um, the Wasp, your yes. first feature film. Um, I want to touch a little bit on what you're talking about in that film. It's a character study, mm -hmm. and it's, to use your own words, it's exploring the complexities of sexuality. And I wanted to just flesh that out a little bit with yeah. you and why you went for that conversation, particularly. Um, Basically just because it was a topic that was close to me, so that's where it came from originally. I think I was uh, for a while very confused about my sexuality and not quite sure where I was. Um, I wasn't straight, but I didn't know if I was gay because every so often I was attracted to a woman. So it was, I think there was a lot of that going on. And so that was when I was doing like my bachelor's and I was also doing sociology um, as part of my bachelor's. So I did a lot of research about sexuality then. And uh, the more I looked into it, the more complex I realized sexuality actually is. And from that later on kind of came the, well, it was like the seed for the, the whole story, which slowly flourished in my head. So yeah, that's what it was. It's just interesting. I um, don't know if you want to look more into sex and sexuality or not. Yeah. I don't know if it's, do you want to talk about it some more? Well, I, 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 <laughs> I just know. think, happy to, and thank you for being really honest with us. Um, yeah. It's great. Yeah, and, 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 you know, I think it is an interesting topic. You know, are you, are you, is your sexuality, sexuality always orientated one way from, from birth? Or is it something that you um, organically sort of find as you grow up? It's, yeah. Uh, and it also changes, I think, with time and you know, depending on what phase you're going through, I think it has an influence. What, what I thought was very interesting when I was doing research was this, um, this tool, let's say, for analysing sex called the um, Klein Sexual Orientation Grid, which is quickly mentioned in the film. And the way they kind of break up sex is that they, or sexuality as a whole, is that they look at your identity but also your behavior and your fantasies and your lifestyle and etc etc it kind of like breaks it up into all of these different aspects and it looks at it like in your your past your present and your ideal or the future and it's just i think it's a really interesting way of actually approaching sex whereas you there's all of these different aspects and then they don't always match up, let's say. Yeah. You're not necessarily straight all the time or gay all the time. And that's what I wanted to look at in the film is having yeah. some a character which is a little all over and yeah. what effect that would have. I saw that you got it on, on Netflix in the US. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. How, yeah. how did you do that? I want to talk, um, talk to me about that. I just charmed my way. It's actually way more boring than, than okay. the end result. No, I just got sales agents um, and for, to represent the film. Uh, that was a year, after, not a year, a few months after shooting it. We went to Cannes with the film and then we found sales agents and who liked the film and they represented it. And then eventually, I think within a year, they found um, US distributors who liked the film, um, Breaking Glass. And then they, then sign deals with different people, including Netflix. Cool. So that's how it happens. It's like a very slow so, process. And then you just get an email one day. And yeah. Like, yay. <laughs> so that kind, of, that kind of highlights how important film festivals are. Would you say, I mean, how important are, have they been for you in, in all the projects that you've done? I mean, they're obviously important because on the one hand, they give exposure to the film. And 
you, um, um, so me as a director or the actors or whatever, so that obviously they're kind of crucial there. Um, but then also if you go to the film festivals where they have also film markets mm. like Cannes or Berlin or all of the others, that's also your opportunity to meet with whoever it is you need to meet to get your film to the next level. So that was crucial for us to to go over there, get meetings and try to yeah, find find partners for the film. I I want to do a, a little bit of promotion here, but can you tell me mm -hmm. a bit about the Berlin uh, talents, uh, the Berlin Al talents uh, at yeah. the festival you went to? Because I know you, you were outspoken about that and said it was a really good experience. Yeah, yeah it was great. That was, it definitely happened, I think, thanks to having done WASP. Um, they, so the Berlin Talents is a program where they select 300 people, um, kind of up and coming talent. Uh, from around the world, and we all come from different areas of filmmaking. So you have directors, actors, producers, writers, composers, it's very varied. And it's a week where you just get to network, um, get to know each other, and there's a lot of master classes you can go to. Depending on your field of work, they sometimes organize workshops, uh, which sometimes run throughout the week, but as directors, you don't. Um, yeah, it's just an incredible week. Uh, you also get to meet people who are kind of at the same level as you mm. or, or a bit higher, um, which is really nice because yeah. obviously sometimes you don't get to meet these people and you, you know, you can all, you know, you can always read about, I don't know, like a, you know, Steven Spielberg. I mean, great. You know, I can read yeah. his life story, but it's more interesting for me right now to talk to other people who are kind of at the same level and know, okay, how did you get to do this and how did you get you know, to do that and that's yeah. much more interesting yeah. rather than read about someone who's obviously made it and the, the industry has yeah. changed also since so the way they got to where they are is yeah. completely probably wouldn't work it wouldn't work in the same way today 